I remember the look on their faces. I remember it because it gave me an excruciating joy. It was a look of terror. If all she had done was look terrified, it's quite possible that what took place might never have happened. But in that facial expression of hers, at least that's how it seemed to me, there was also a kind of annoyance, as though she were put out at having her lovemaking interrupted. For an instant, I froze, clutching the knife behind my back. At that same moment, he smiled. I rushed at her, still keeping the knife hidden in case he tried to stop me plunging it into her side. I swung my arm around as hard as I could, and my elbow struck her full in the face. met mine and suddenly he turned white as a sheet. Even his lips turned pale and then suddenly he ducked under the piano and was out of the room in a flash. Then without letting go of the knife I gripped her throat in my left hand, threw her back and started to strangle her. She seized my hands in hers, trying to tear them free of her throat and as if this were the signal for which I had been waiting, I struck her with a knife as hard as I could in her left side beneath the ribs. terrible awareness of what I was doing, that I was killing a woman, a woman who was my wife. When people tell you they don't remember what they did, when they're in a mad fit of rage. Don't believe a word of it. It's all lies. Nonsense. I remembered everything afterwards. And I've never ceased to remember it for one second. <laughs> 